So before we begin this course, I think it's uh, necessary, you know what you're up against here and what you'll be doing, which is very exciting. So there are eight modules in this course and each module is comprised of a theoretical component and a practical component. And the practical component is a chance for you to apply the knowledge that you've taken from this course, um, with kind of what we speak about here, and to really have a think about how it applies to your life and how you can integrate it straight away, okay? Some of it is to do with context, so looking upon past experience, trying to understand how those experiences, experiences have changed your, your worldview and your perspective, and perhaps have actually given you some beliefs that uh, might not be in your best interest. So that's some of the context component. The other half of it is, as I said in the beginning, very much future oriented. So we wanna be having a think about who you want to be in six months time. We're not looking you know, beyond years, decades, because to me anyway, that just is very unfathomable. It's very inconceivable. Six months is very realistic. You know, That kind of gives us a realistic aim who we could be in six months time and, and how we're gonna get there as we're reverse engineered by putting daily tasks into place. And it's incredible to me that, you know, a lot of the clients that I work with, it's very much around this idea of existential therapy, finding meaning in life. I think it's more about creating meaning in life, okay, by being future oriented, by recognizing that we're always in a point A, trying to get to a point B, now the reason we get so lost and circumstantially depressed is because we're not too sure why where we're at is so painful. So much of this is going to be around highlighting why exactly you don't like where you are. So, you know, staring truth in the face, um, it's difficult, but it's intentional, especially in this course. So my, my hope with you is that as you unpack layers of awareness, although it's confronting, it's also very motivational because you're looking at the truth and going right I don't want to be this person anymore I don't want to live in this area psychologically speaking and I'm willing to do what it takes day by day so that I can become this person who gets to live this lifestyle within a six month time frame so that's really important as I said in the beginning eight modules okay so we've got pain and myth we've got perfect day and if nothing changes which I think is a seriously important journal We've got Dharma and establish structure. So it's really important to establish structure and give ourselves the time to be creative, the time to implement, the time out of our days if we have to wake up earlier, if we have to go to bed later at night, whatever it is, so that we can actually put the things in place to become who we wanna be. The last two components are integrating trauma and then reflection. The reason why we wanna integrate trauma is because trauma, as we'll soon find out, is subjective and it deeply shapes our worldview. If we can integrate what we've learned into some kind of positive cognitive reframing, that experience or series of experiences won't continue to hold us back down in life. So we will be free. It's like the, uh, the puppeteer can no longer influence the strings because we don't have any strings anymore. And we can move on and, uh, and really start to be future oriented. So eight modules, theoretical and practical components, Let's get into it.